What's up guys, Jared back again. So for those of you with rooted devices, and for those of you that don't know what root is, I strongly recommend you go to Google and check it out because this channel, my channel, has a lot of content relating to rooted devices. That said, I found this wicked application called App Quarantine. It's right here. Uh, now you're probably thinking, okay, so app quarantine, that means that you're going to be putting an application in quarantine. Well, yes, that's exactly what, what, what we're going to be doing today. Uh, so a lot of you out there probably use titanium backup or other bloatware remover type applications. And that's kind of what this is. Although this has got a really cool trick up its sleeve. So let's say for instance, once you download the application and you install it, um, you know, maybe you've got news and weather. Well, we don't want that because perhaps it's going to chew up some, you know, data in the background. Perhaps it's going to start eating away at some battery life. So what we go ahead and do is just go ahead and check it. You'll know this little um, lock icon in the top right hand corner. Just go ahead and click lock. And that'll actually ask you uh, upon your first installation of this application for root access, go ahead and grant it. Then we can jump over to the quarantine list and it's now quarantine. So if we were to jump into our application tray, you'll notice we actually don't have that in there anymore. Now, Let's try something else. Everybody knows that Google Maps is a huge battery drainer. Sometimes, in some cases, some custom ROMs out there or even stock ROMs that come with your device, um, it'll start eating through, uh, or at least maps will start eating through regardless of you disabling um, location data uh, uh, and so on and so forth. And you disable all the location settings, especially on like Google settings and so on. Well, what we can do is we can go ahead and let's say we wanted to lock that up, right? So we lock that up put it into quarantine. As you can see, it's uh, now in the quarantines list. And as you can see also, it's no longer in my app tray. So, but what if we want to use it? Because obviously Google Maps is a pretty useful application and we're probably going to want to use it again in the near future. At least I know I use it quite often, but then there's times when I want it completely disabled. Well, that's where App Quarantine gives us the option. Whoops, that's not where I'm looking. App Quarantine gives us the option to um, have a widget. Now in its free form, and this is in its free form, and uh, no, don't worry, there's no uh, advertisements or anything like that. It's completely free, which is awesome. So big thumbs up to the developer there. Uh, we can create this widget and we go down here and you'll notice we've got maps there. We go ahead and select that. Now in its free form, it only allows us to do this with one application at a time. If you want to pay for the pro version, it's just under two bucks in the Play Store. I'll be putting a link in the description for the free version so you guys can go and try it out. Um, and with the paid version, you can have as many applications as you want from what I understand. Now you'll notice that we've got the maps uh, icon there and we'll go ahead and let this focus. You'll notice that it does have a little locked icon next to it. Well, we can go ahead and tap on that. Not only will it unlock it and launch the application, Right? As you can see, it quickly launched the application for me. We can back out. You'll notice it's still now got a green unlock symbol if it'll eventually focus. There we go. So what we do, just go ahead and tap on it again and it relocks it like magic. And you can do that with all of your applications, system and user downloaded applications, right? Super, super useful. Jump into the um, uh, extra settings menu here and it's got a bunch of really cool settings options here. So say for instance, um, one of your applications gets an update. Well, we're a little bit concerned that that might end up um, removing it from the quarantine list, right? Well, you've got a bunch of options here. So you can, this one here is detect updates of quarantine apps. And then if we want to go ahead and take that one, keep unwanted apps in quarantine when they get updated. Awesome stuff there. And of course, there's some other additional options here so you can muck around with the widget and the look and so on. Uh, bring over the overflow menu, filter, so you can filter out uh, different applications such as, you know, show all apps, um, system apps only or regular apps as in, you know, user downloaded applications. Uh, as well as, um, you know, send error reports about and credits. So really simplistic application, very useful. And I'm absolutely loving the fact that we can quickly and easily um, lock and unlock our applications and completely shut them down so they have no access to data, Wi-Fi, or uh, start draining your battery. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this application. If you did, click that likes button down below. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And don't forget to stay up to date on all things of smoking Android by following me on Twitter and Google+. Those links are in the description below as well. That's it for now, though, guys. Enjoy, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.